Hey you guys, I am back with another video. I think a couple people, maybe like only two people, like, you know, mentioned that it may be time for me to film a wax collection video. And I figured, well, hey, I might as well. Um, I had to work last night, like eight hours from 10.30 p.m. to six in the morning, so my schedule's all screwed up. So I figured I might as well take advantage of the natural light and I'm trying to keep myself awake today. Um, that I may as well film this collection video. So this is actually in my entryway. So you can see there's my front door over there and there's this um, piece of furniture I have here and the two boxes on the side. And this is where I'd say most of my wax is stored. Is stored. stored. So my husband actually really doesn't have an issue with me buying wax but his only thing is is he really doesn't want it to necessarily like look like wax. So our study is downstairs, because I know a lot of people kind of keep their wax in a spare bedroom upstairs, and they have like the plastic um, drawers and stuff. And because our our you know our study is downstairs, you know he, I don't think that he really was like keen on looking at that kind of stuff. So we went out to Home Goods and we bought this. This was just like a TV stand, and it had these two little wicker baskets for forever. So um, this is where I would say the majority of it is stored. And let me see if I can set the camera down here. I will say though that I do not have everything as nice as a lot of other people um because whenever i have to go through my wax i have to you know go through it and then put stuff aside because it's not like easy to go through right um so that's the only thing that i would say okay i'm gonna have to move the chair back to get the door open oh the door doesn't open any more than that so let me move the camera over i'm gonna have to edit this video a little bit so let's see how this looks this looks okay so this is how the um, most of my wax is stored. It is kind of like in these containers here. I got these containers all from the container store. I think they were only a couple bucks a piece. So I'm gonna not go through everything. It's gonna take too long. But I got a couple, you know, scoopables up here. One in caramel apple. Um, one one in melon. One in melon berry blast. I got those from. I think I got those. No, one of them I bought. The other one I got from a uh, D stash from Vintage Chic 1927 kind of going through these. I'm hoping this shows up on the camera okay. This is my spotted hog um, bin. It's slowly but surely going down. I try to melt something from the spotted hog about, you know, once every week or week and a half because I like it. Um, this bin here is kind of, let's see here, what's in this bin? I think this bin here is stuff that I've gotten from like D stashes. Uh, as you guys may have already seen, like I got like a lot of D stashes from Vintage Chic 1927. So when I, when I get a D stash, I will normally just put everything from the D stash in um, like one bin and so like every now and then I'll go into the bin and just pick something out there that I want them out. Let's see here. Going on here. Sorry, this is a little bit different kind of collection video, huh? This is uh, rainbow melts and I have a couple more um, tins of rainbow melts, but I try to keep all my rainbow melts together and uh, I think she's probably one of the vendors I have the most stuff from. This is another D stash I got. I think I've got this D stash from Tara Lynn, I think. It was a fairly large D stash, and so there's a lot. Ooh, like, see, there's black, blackberry cotton candy in there from Lasting Sense. So, goes to show you, I need to start um, going through these bins and using some of this stuff. So, my stuff is not very well organized, <laughs> I will have to say. Um, I have these here. I got these from Vintage Chic 1927 in a D stash. I think that's Streetman Candles. That's the only Streetman. Is that Streetman? I think that's the only Streetman Candles that I have. Yeah, sure, Streetman Candle Company. Here's another bean I have from um, Rainbow Melts. A lot of really good stuff in here. See, I, I need to go through all these bins and pick out some new melts because there's a lot of goodies hanging around in here. And here is another bin. This one is another Rainbow Melts bin. And um, you can see there's a lot of blueberry muffin in there. So you can see that I really, really like her blueberry muffin. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera and I, I can't tell if anything is focusing at all. So this is probably the worst video ever. Plus I'm still pretty tired from last night, so like I'm kind of out of it. Um, this is some stuff. Let me see if I can move this over so I'm not knocking against that. This is uh, some stuff from 10 Digit Creations and I have a lot more of it. Like I said, I'm very disorganized, so it's not all in one place. Um, so I'm really hoping during the holidays I can get through some wax and give a lot of the wax away so I don't have as much like flopping around. Uh, this is, oh. We have a jumper. This is um, another uh, box, I think, from the stuff that I got from the D-Stash from Vintage Chic 1927. So I put it mostly in here. 
keeps on going, you guys. Holy crap, this one is, sorry, I'm cursing, this one's heavy. This is an all front porch one. This is like, oh, it's heavy to hold up. So I think I've got another one, but this is just all the four pack grubbies from front porch. I kind of keep them all in here. Once I figured out, once I got over that like front porch bread scent thing that I wasn't a big fan of, everything actually turned out fine with front porch. I really like front porch stuff. This is my, I think this is my only candles by Victoria bin. I've put in um, only just only one order and I got a lot of great scents in these scent shots so I just need to keep on melting through them but oh my goodness her scent list is just intimidating. I look at it and I, sometimes I don't even know where to start. It's it's like crazy. Um, here's another bin from stuff that was de-stashed from Vintage Chic 1927. Some more stuff in there and uh, oh actually my Hay Creek is in here as well. Yeah. So I've got a little bit of like some of my Hay Creek candle stuff, um, like right there. Sometimes I just kind of have to find like a place that it'll fit and just push it all in there. Let's see here. Oh, I need to get into this bin, see? It's buried all the way in there. This is my Daphne's Divine, and I um, think I only have gotten two orders from her. And I also joined her Chunk Muffin Subscription Club, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really hoping that my face didn't show up on the camera. You guys do not want to see my face. Oh, another rainbow melts bin. This one belongs in the top, so this is just more rainbow melts. You gotta love it. And then, this bin is, um, I could probably fit more in here. This is Tiffany Candles. I think this was from my first big order from Tiffany Candles. I got a lot of different scent shots and everything. So, a lot of goody goodness in there. This bin here is a couple more Tiffany Candle scent shots, and then I think this is all, no, there's, I have a couple other things under here, but for the most part on the top, it's all candles from the Keeping Room um, samples. Oh, there they go. Oh, no. It's all candles from the Keeping Room samples, and then I think there's, like, some Victoria's, um, candles by Victoria. I have, like, some of the animal waxers and everything. Ooh, sorry. Like I have some of those in there. I know that she always sends those things out in like those, you know, like resealable cups, but I really hated those cups because, well, I think mine cracked in shipping anyway. And then it was just kind of like, it was too bulky to store. So I just put it in, um, you know, I just uh, put it in my own thing. So that is that side. Now this side over here, see how I'm gonna do this here, okay? This side over here, that's the, that's the chair on the floor scratching around. This is um, some bins down here and then some bakery bags. I have bakery bags elsewhere as well. So, I mean, I got some like brittle that I got from the Vintage Chic 1927 D-Stash. Um, here's a company that I haven't talked about a whole lot, but I found them on eBay. It's the Old England Candle Company. I think I have five or six of these bags. I've only melted through maybe like three or four of the scents, but I'm not like haven't melted enough of it to really, you know, like form a strong opinion. Sugar Cookie Crunch, but she has a lot of stuff and it's all on eBay. So another Old England Candle Company. Um, let's see here. I love Closet Full of Wax Chunks. So this is actually going right now in my warmer. This is my own creation. Closet Full of Wax Chunk Bag. More chunks. Um, you can see more Closet Full of Wax in here. I have a little bit of a... Uh, Rose of Girls um, that I got in the D stash, more closet full of wax. Sorry, I'm I can't tell like if I'm getting into the camera or not. Um, yeah, more. Let's see here. Maybe I'll move this closer. There, it's probably better. Yeah, let's see here. Um, ooh, more closet full of wax. Cookie Factory, the Spotted Hog. I still have these large bags. I have a lot of the um, like the rainbow melts. I have like the smaller bags of brittle over there and then hiding all the way in the back right there is a Tiffany Candles um, jar of heart tarts that I actually haven't melted so I need to go through. Uh, down here I've got a lot of the Tiffany loaves that I've cut up um, and I've been like slowly chunking through these but as you guys know like loaves take forever right? Like that's zucchini bread and fluffy marshmallow with lemon po um, lemon poppy seed over pour. This is a sniff my tarts, fresh strawberries, cotton candy, vanilla bean noel that I got in a D stash and then this is like Beau Save on Frey that I got in a D-Stash Vintage Chic 1927. More mins. Oh, I can fit more in here. Okay, good. 
This is some of the bathing garden that I've had from before, and I have a lot more elsewhere. See, this is why I need to um, organize. I guess I should have organized before I did this video, but I'm trying to take advantage of the light going on right now. It's like 1 p.m. You guys know the sun goes down pretty fast nowadays. This is another bin of more front porch. This is, I think this is a bin from the d -Sash. More another one of the ones that from the d -Sash from Vintage Chic 1927. There's a lot of different things in there. Oh, and there's rainbow melts in here too. There's rainbow melts hiding in here as well. And some Steel Valley scents on the bottom. So, maybe I need to label these. This is kind of a random candle I have from a Stella Star. You know, and it looks like, um, it smells divine. It looks like that. I haven't melted it yet, but I'm not really a big candle person, so... I mean, I don't think I'm going to really go through a whole lot of candles. Let's see here. This is another de-stash bin full of a lot of different goodies. Just giving my arms a workout, you guys, holding all this stuff up. And this is the last bin in here. And this is yet another de-stash bin full of goodies. So as you guys can see, like, it's really easy for me to forget like what's in here and not take advantage of all the stuff I have but you know the upside to that is that my husband this you know makes my husband happy that is kind of away and no one could really tell there's a whole lot of wax in here so for me you know that's worth a compromise that he doesn't have an issue with me buying all this wax so I'm gonna have to probably edit this video and um, give me a second and I'll cut to my candles from the keeping room stuff so these two bins over here these are all of my candles from the keeping room um, and this bin here, this is more of my fruity, kind of like more summery scent. So like, you know, there's like an apricot melon in here, um, watermelon, Jolly Rancher, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Like more of the fruity stuff. And then this bin here, oh, which is definitely <laughs> kind of full to the top. This is the more um, bakery bin. So I've got like, you know, Wadbury mousse is in there. This is one of my favorites, Lemon Pazel. Another one of my absolute favorites, um, Ice Lemon Biscotti. And stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm not going to go through everything, but uh, <laughs> when my storage started, it started with this little, you know, the TV cabinet that I already showed. And then it kind of expanded. And then I expanded to these bins, which had other stuff in there. And I thought candles in the keeping room was perfect to put in there because, you know, they're kind of just bags. So, they kind of go in a bin well. So, that's that. And let me move on to the next area. All right, everybody. This is um, after I exploded from the cabinet in the front with the baskets and then I had more. My husband went into this cabinet here and we had a bunch of board games in here and he moved them I think to the garage. And then I started populating this cabinet and I was like, oh, like I'm never gonna have to go beyond this cabinet. Like this is great. And then eventually I'll melt through this and I'll get back to just being in that um, hutch near the front and it's expanded more from there. So this cabinet, sorry, my kitchen is a wreck right now but this, this cabinet is actually underneath my kitchen island. So here's how, see, this is how disorganized I am. This is the rainbow melts from my latest haul. It's still like on the counter because I'm so, I'm like so overwhelmed with where to put everything. But um, I actually have like three cabinets underneath the island, which is like really nice storage. So um, down here I've got, oh, this is a wreck. I may not be able to pull these out because I think it may be too hard, but <clears throat> these two uh, right here are, you may not be able to see it, but I've got like two bins right there. And those are normally bins that I'll go through and like, populate from the other bins so when I need to melt something I'll normally reach for one of these two bins here and just grab something so it's probably time for me to go through and like repopulate those bins with everything um, here I've got some Lowe's from Tiffany Candles that I'm still like waiting to cure as well as like my new stuff from Sassy Girl Aroma <clears throat> I don't really like putting a loaf on a loaf but I've you know run out of uh, storage options here this middle row here is mostly bakery bags and then I also have a lot of scoopables um, right there. I think, let me see if I can, yeah, I've got some scoopables right here, like from Tiffany's. I got a random bag of pumpkin bread. I don't know what that's doing there. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of these I got in D-stashes, I think. So I got that there. I got a front porch scoopable back there. A lot of bakery bags. Most of these are loaves that I've cut up. I cut into my gorgeous starlit candles loaf the other day and I wanted to cry. Um, you know, 12 pack of grubbies from front porch. I got some Rose Girls. Um, that I, I have never ordered from Rose Girls myself. So anything that I do have, I got in the D-Stash. Um, more Tiffany Candles loaves. So I have all my cut-up loaves here. I've got some Closet Full of Wax back there and Pink Peppermint Chunks. I love her chunks. I got a Hay Creek Candle loaf I cut up here. Some Ava's Country Cupboard, you know, maple. Um, 
things, a little bit of a bow save on fray, so that's kind of what's there. And on the bottom here, uh, this is my wax journal. You guys probably do something similar. You know, where I'll write down like the scents and then like what I think about them. And then I've got like a, ta a tab for all the different vendors that I've ordered from. You know, with lots of empty pages and everything like that. So that's my wax journal. That's how I keep that. Let's see if there's a, if there's anything down here that I, uh, oh, this looks like, see, well, there's Tiffany candles and uh, candles from the keeping room all together in there. So I have Tiffany candles in the other room and over here, you know, so I need to consolidate. Um, let's see here. This is some um, Scentsy I have in there. And I don't really melt through a whole lot of Scentsy. I ordered it a lot at the beginning, but I, they've really kind of just been sitting there. Um, these are a Beau Save on Frey, and then I think also half of a Rose Girls pie a chunk that I got from Vintage Chic 1927. You guys can see, this seems like a lot of my wax came from her d stashes, like seriously. This is <laughs> more Ava's Country Covered, a lot of the Christmas scents. Actually, looking at all of this, I need to put together like a box for another box for my mother-in-law of the more like Christmassy winter scents. Um, Scentsy again. I really should mow through my Scentsy. And then this is my BZ. And I'm probably going to grab a couple things out of here. I'm really craving some pink sugar scents. I feel like I have something good, you guys, in one of these two. See, I'm doing this, like, this video collection backwards. How most people organize first, and then they show you, like, how organized everything is. And it's so pretty. Mine's the opposite. I'm so disorganized, and doing this video is just showing me how disorganized I am. This is bad. Yep, my Ava's Country Cupboard uh, tart, or tart bars are in here. And I haven't melted through any of those yet. I think um, they're at the tail end of the cure date. Oh no. Oh, see that? Ninja. Like a ninja. Oh my god. So this is more thoughts. These are the two of like the stuff that I need to melt. It's all miscellaneous. Oh yeah, and then this is just um, more stuff that I got from, I think, a D stash. And there's like a rainbow melt sample in here. <laughs> Why is that? What's that doing in there? That's not supposed to be in there. Um, so anyway, so that is it for here. So I'm going to show you the last area that I have wax stored downstairs. All right, you guys, this is um, probably like the last, not the, well, I'm going to do my bedroom wax last, but this is the last of the stuff I have downstairs. Basically, this is where I've gone into panic mode because I have outgrown all the cabinets and everything else, and I don't know what to do with everything else, so they've kind of gone to these bins. They're sitting for right now in the living room, but um, I'm probably just going to have to put them in the garage, and my husband was like, well, why don't we just get a cabinet for the garage, and that works well for the winter, which means that I don't mind putting this stuff out there for the winter, but, um, you know, as the summer comes, I'm going to have to melt through it so I don't have stuff out there in the summer. So this bin right here, this is mostly, I think, sorry, I don't have a stable surface, so it's a little bit more um, wobbly. This is more of like my L3 Waxy Wonders are in here. I think I have a lot of my last stuff from 10 Digit Creations. Actually, I think there may be a whole 10 Digit Creations layer on this bottom here that I'm forgetting about. Um, Starlit Candles, I have my Starlit Candles in here. I have my Cross Creek Country Candles in here as well, so it's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this bin here is from my more recent haul, so all my recent stuff from my Ava's Country Covered haul is all in here, as well as my Sensei. I haven't put these in my refrigerator or anything, so um, I'm going to just kind of store them at room temperature and see how that goes. Oh, that's my bottle of Windex. Yay! <laughs> so that's what's in this one, and I have a couple of my my Mariposa Candle Company. Um, some of the samplers are in here. This stuff is most of the clamshells. So all my recent stuff from the bathing garden is all in here. You know, I repackage all these stuff into you know, the polypropylene um, bags and everything like that. So I'm going to have to combine this with the bathing garden bin I had in my cabinet. But the bathing garden's in here, and then um, the Murray Posta Candle Company stuff's in here. Ooh, black cherry. I kind of don't like the black cherry, but some of the other stuff from her is in here as well. So that is it for this area. All right, now this is the last area that I have wax uh, stored. Um, so what these three bins are, these actually go underneath my bed, and they actually were meant to be without uh, tops. I got these at Home Depot. I think you're supposed to put these into another storage bin, so if you needed like, you know, like a bigger bin, you know, with like a little bit of a storage tray atop, that's what these are meant for. But the reason I have these is we have a platform bed, and a lot of the um, under storage bins are too big for a platform bed, so these work actually pretty well. Sorry, this one's going to be a little bit more shaky because I don't have a stable surface again, so... 
just three of these really and this is where I keep all my so-called bedroom wax so anything to me that's something I would want to melt more in the bedroom comes up here and everything is like wildly varied you know like I got Tiffany candles honey bunny I've got um, a lot pretty much almost all of my two-timing tart is up here I tend to melt a lot of bakery downstairs and most of two-timing tart stuff that I have is like not bakery stuff so I love two-timing tarts and a lot of it is up here you can see there's like a lot of it quite there and um, I went a little crazy on her Black Friday sale and I think I have 10 pounds of two-timing tarts coming in here shortly it's bad I, I need to uh yeah my family needs to help me out here with some of this stuff you know like I got some candles from the keeping room more two-timing tarts from the flash sale you can see here there's just more goodies coming over here look how disorganized this all is this is a wreck you know some stuff I got in D stashes a lot of my um vintage of creations I'm waiting for these to finish curing. I cannot wait to melt that. I'm going to have to get that in a scoopable. Some Scentsy, some more D-Stash stuff. Like, that's from BZ's. And then over here, it's just a lot more random stuff. Um, I guess I could melt that downstairs. Because at the time, it's more like something I want upstairs. And a lot more of my 10 digit creations. I'd say probably half of my 10 digit creations is up here. And then over here, I've got... Let's see here. Some Starlit Candles over here bathing garden, um, some Steel Valley scents, and that is it. So that's my upstairs wax, you guys. I think that is my entire collection video. All right, you guys, I am back really quick because um, after doing that video, it showed me how amazingly disorganized I was. So I went through and reorganized a little bit better. So as you can see here, there are those two bins. My bottle Windex is still there. Um, that are now empty and the rainbow melts that was on my kitchen counter I was also able to put in a bin so this is kind of how it all turned out I have uh, mostly like chunky stuff in there so some L3 Rose Girls both save on fright chunks here is the 10 digit creations that's downstairs that's a little bit of Ava's Country Cupboard right there in the corner this stack of two here that's the rest of the Ava's Country Cupboard um, bathing garden in here I still had to keep this one bin this is bathing garden and Mariposa Candle Company this stack of three here is all front porch. Let's see here. And sorry, that's the stuff that kind of goes, um, that's like the stuff that I need to melt here sooner rather than later. This is Cross, Ke Cross Creek Country Candles and Starlit Candles. One bag of Kate's Creation Brodo I got in this D stash. Um, candles from the Kimpy Room samples only. This is Candles by Victoria. Tiffany Candles. Tiffany Candles with the rest of the Steel Valley scents that I have downstairs here. This is probably my most empty bin, the Spotted Hog. This whole stack here of four is all rainbow melts. You can tell I like rainbow melts. Um, these two bins here, and I think I have a third over there that's just like the rest of the miscellaneous D-stash stuff that I don't have enough from one specific vendor to fill a bin. So, And there's also some Hay Creek in here because I couldn't find a good home for it elsewhere. My Sensei, Beezies, um, Beau Save on Frey is in here as well as the rest of the samples from Candles from the Keeping Room. This one here is all Daphne's. That is L3 Waxy Wonders. And then over here I have Scentsy, and then I forgot that I had some Yankee tarts hidden underneath the Scentsy here. So that is it, you guys. That's everything else that, um, I mean, this is just the bins. Everything else stays the same downstairs. So I did reorganize it a little better and was able to consolidate. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and I'm hoping my collection size decreases after Christmas after my family comes into town and takes what they want. So... I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.